Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobby here and welcome to a new acrylic print video. Today let's try and create a sun for painting. <laughs> so previously I have done this uh, central blowout technique for our collaboration with Molly from Molly's Artistry and I really love the technique and the effect it creates. It's perfect for sort of bursting or shining effect. So I thought it's gonna be perfect for creating sun in the sky type of painting. So let's see how it works. Let's get started with it. So today we're working on the 16 by 20 cradled wood panel and let's start adding out those colors. So for my sun, I want it to be a combination of white and gold for the most part to really have that shine when the painting is going to be dry. So I first added in some white and I want to add gold just over it. So when I blow it out, it sort of all blends in. Hopefully it looks pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I also want to add some orange. I think that would also be nice for glowing warm effect. I also have some yellow here, but I don't know if I want to use it. Let's add a few drops. Add a bit more white. Okay. And here from the sun, I want to gradually add lighter blue to darker blue, but to really help that sun differentiate. First color, I want to add dark. Hopefully that will help it pop a little better. It really helps to have Lazy Susan, as I said in the previous video, or some sort of spinner. If you want to see how I did mine, um, as well as get some other tips for workspace setup, I share a lot of information in my guide on my website. It's for free. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description. And guys, check out my website. There are so many good tutorials, recommendations for acrylic pouring. It's definitely uh, must read for all the beginners and not only beginners. Okay, so next one is this lighter blue. Actually, maybe I need more of it. How about I take out the spoon mixing stick? That wouldn't hurt. This color here is turquoise. That's not exactly color of the sky, but I thought I'll add it just to break down all the cool blue. I just need one that's going to be a little warmer. Just to make this color palette a little more interesting. Okay. This one here is iridescent blue-green. That will also help this color palette really pop. And it also dries with beautiful iridescent shine. So I love using the iridescent colors. And this is the iridescent color by PBO. So they have a whole series of iridescent colors, but for turquoise, they have this iridescent blue-green and iridescent green-blue. They're very close to each other, but this one, the blue-green has more blue hue to it and it also and it only has this little touch hint of green on certain uh, angles when you look at it when it's dry and the green the green blue is opposite it looks turquoise green and only in some angles when you look at it because it's iridescent color so it changes depending on the angle you look at it it does look a little bit bluish so both of them are really awesome for this color palette i'm using the blue green because i want it to be more <laughs> blue than uh, green. Okay, so finally let's add in some darker color. We want to have the dark going all the way out. You know what, I think I need to add a little bit of that blue here as well. This is another dark blue. All right, so the colors are all in. Let's torch it. Okay. 
Okay, let's do it. Note to self, this makes perfect snowflake, maybe with a bit different color layout. I should do one when the winter comes. This would be absolutely perfect. Okay, guys, remind me, do a snowflake. <laughs> That looks really cool, but does it look like a sun? I'm not so sure, <laughs> but definitely has this beautiful glowing effect. I'm gonna do something. I wanna add a circle inside and I think that will make it look more like a sun because right now it's it's a mix of molecule and snowflake and maybe sea star but not so much the sun should I do it yeah I'm gonna do it gosh it's so beautiful I really don't want to mess it up but I also want to change it Okay, I can't see exactly where is the center, so I need to get my step ladder. <laughs> it's always easier to look from above. Oh my god, I have the song stuck with me. Beatles, here comes the sun. I hope to come, the sun comes on this painting. Okay, let's lift it up. I should have dipped it in gold first. That'll look more like sun though. Okay, I want to try do it again, but with gold. Make it or break it. Okay, now with some gold, I like it better. I feel like I need to blend in the circle with some of the rays that go out. And that should make it look more like one piece. So just trying to bring some unity. I definitely like it much better now. I wish I didn't have that much blue though in this ring. Let's see how it dries, because when it's gonna be uh, dry, the gold is gonna pop and it's gonna look rather different from now. Regardless, I'm pretty happy. I will be right back. Keep watching. So here is this beauty all dry, and I have to say it dried really perfectly this time. This sun really reminds me of ancient Greek symbol of the sun, where the rays of the sun go out in a bit of a curvy, sort of wavy movement. I think this painting also totally got that energy, that vibe, and I totally love it. Um, I haven't finished this piece with a layer of epoxy yet because I just haven't quite decided whether I'm done with it or should I work more, maybe on the ring part, add more gold and work it a little bit towards the center. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I leave it alone, leave it as is, or work a little bit on the ring part? Let me know what you think in the comments under this video. One thing I do know for sure though about this piece is that I just totally love how the iridescent blue-green dried and see how it beautifully shines all around the gold. Oh, it just adds such a beautiful effect and 
it helped me to achieve a lot of this lacing in this piece. So this is just the magic of iridescent colors. Thank you so much for joining me today. Subscribe to my channel and also check out my website olgasobi.com for a lot more acrylic pouring tips, tricks and tutorials. I'll chat with you in the comments down below and I hope we'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay creative. Bye-bye.